Welcome to the Wagner Park East Community Information Meeting, originally presented on Monday, October 16th, 2023. I'm Alex Jovanovich, Community Services Deputy Director, Parks and Recreation, Park Services. My contact information will be provided at the end of the presentation should you have any questions you would like me to follow up on. During their presentation, I'll provide background information, discuss the proposal, and then provide information on additional improvements for Wagner West should a fence be installed at Wagner East. Then talk about next steps and the potential timeline. Depicted on the screen is the overall site plan for Wagner Park with Kyrene Middle School and Wagner Elementary School in between Wagner West and Wagner East. As mentioned, Wagner Park is essentially two parks separated by two schools in the Kyrene School District with Wagner West on the western side directly adjacent to Kyrene Middle School and Wagner East on the eastern side directly adjacent to Wagner Elementary School. The entire site is approximately 20 acres and includes both sides of Wagner Park, the middle school, and the elementary school. This image shows a closer look at Wagner Park East, which is the focus of this presentation and Kyrene School District's proposal. While this entire site is included as part of the presentation and the proposal, I'd like you to focus on playground area number two, basketball court number three, basketball court number four, as well as the field. The city and the school district have a long history of working together and managing the park. The original park land acquired by the city on the east side is land currently used by the Kyrene School District for one of its baseball softball fields. In the late 1970s, the school district and the city exchanged property that positioned the park and the school grounds as they are laid out today. There are several existing agreements between the city and the school district that manage the use of the park. Playground use is currently limited during school hours. A very small amount of community members currently use the park during the school day. The city originally planned for improvements to Wagner East during this current fiscal year. The planned improvements included a new playground, the addition of rubberized play areas, a ramada, improved court lighting, new sidewalks, enhanced lighting overall, and the addition of trees. Public outreach for the improvements was conducted in the spring of 2022. The outreach and design process was paused in the summer of 2022 as the Kyrene School District expressed interest in fencing the park for safety and security of their students and staff. The school district's request is to install a fence from the edge of the school building surrounding the park. The school district conducted a survey of Wagner Elementary School families. 271 people took the survey, with 85% of them being Wagner School families and the rest being school staff. Over 75% of Wagner School families support the installation of a fence for safety and security reasons, and over 95% of staff support fencing the park for safety and security of the students. If a fence is approved, the school district would improve and maintain the site. In addition to installing the fence, the school district would resurface the courts, install a new playground, add some rubber surfacing, add pickleball court lines to the tennis courts, and provide irrigation improvements. The school district would then continue to maintain the site with improved scheduling and ability for enhanced maintenance and less impacts to use. The public would still have access to the playground and all the amenities 30 minutes after school is released, as well as on all non-school days from park opening to park closing, which is 6 a.m. to midnight, including weekends, holidays, and all other school breaks. The park would have two points for entry and exit with one closer to Lakeshore and the other one closer to the parking lot. The map depicted shows the approximate location of the fence line 
as well as the two entry and exit access points. The picture of the playground depicted is a rendering of what the improved playground could look like with the existing shade structure remaining in place in the area of the park depicted in a previous picture as playground number two, which is the same playground that the city had planned to make improvements on. This rendering is from another angle showing the playground additional features as well as areas with rubber surfacing to allow for improved accessibility. This is also showing the playground number two location that was depicted in a previous map. If a fence is installed around the Wagner East Park, the city will explore improvements to Wagner West, which could include installation of a playground, additional shade in the form of either a shade structure or potentially a ramada, as well as planting of additional trees. The improvements will be made in a future year following outreach and then design that could start next year. Any improvements to Wagner West would be strategically placed to not impact field use. For the next steps in timeline, I'm laying out the process as if there is support to move forward. The following next steps as well as timeline for implementation is based on support for the proposal. Once all the community feedback is received from both the city's and the school district's efforts, there could be potential updates to the proposed plan by the school district. The agreements that help manage the use of the park would then need to be updated. City staff would then provide an update to the mayor and council for direction and the district employees would provide a similar update of information to the Kyrene School District Governing Board seeking approval. If approved, the school district would initially install the fence and then coordinate the irrigation improvements, court resurfacing, and playground installation at later dates with the playground being a long lead item requiring some time to procure the playground and the irrigation and court resurfacing work needed to take place during a longer school break, such as summer break. To provide your input, please visit tempe.gov slash park updates. Find Wagner Park and click on the survey. If you have any questions or comments that you would like to provide outside of the survey, please feel free to contact either of the city of Tempe employees listed, or if you have questions specifically for the school district or Wagner Elementary School, please contact one or both of the school district employees listed. Thank you. That concludes the presentation.